What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Today I wanted to share with you guys how I was scammed and received a fake pair of AirPod Maxes. So first off, I wanna say I never even considered getting these at all, especially five, $600, that is just ridiculous. The most I will pay for a pair of headphones is probably three, 350, maybe four at the absolute highest. Like these are my Steel Series Nova Pro wirelesses. These are amazing. They're just my all around headset for when I'm gaming and editing and stuff like that. But I wanted something that I could use seamlessly with the rest of my Apple products that were not earbuds because I'm just not a fan of earbuds. I don't like the AirPods. I feel like they fall out of my ear and I don't really like feeling things in my ear for a long duration. So I decided I wanted to give the AirPod Maxes a go, but I really didn't want to spend five, 600 bucks for them. So I went to eBay. I've been buying on eBay for many, many, many years, guys, many years. And usually if you make sure they have good feedback and you take a look at the product images, you should be good. And also eBay has a money back guarantee, so I am still gonna get my money back. I just wanted to show you guys these and bring awareness to this. So hopefully it doesn't happen to you. So I checked the eBay listing, the photos looked good, the box looked good, the seller had good feedback, everything checked out. But I still got a fake pair. And I'm gonna show you guys how I found out they were fake. So the first thing that I noticed when I got them, they did have the plastic wrap on, they did look sealed and everything good, but one thing that I, that I noticed is usually a real Apple product wouldn't be that loose in a package. Usually it's much more sturdy and tight. So that is the first thing that I noticed that was kind of sketchy to me. Like when I get an iPhone or a MacBook, they are not that loose in there. Now the next thing that I noticed, if you guys take a look down here, you'll see that basically it says Apple Incorporated, but there's no space between Apple and Incorporated. So that was the first big red flag to me for uh, when it comes to the outside of the box. Other than that, the outside of the box looks pretty much like a genuine Apple product. However, when I got to the bottom as well and I looked at the serial number and I compared that to the one in the images because he showed like an image of the official purchase and the serial number and all that stuff and how it has Apple Care and all that, all that extra stuff. But this serial number does not match the one that he sold in the listing because I double checked that box in the listing and it looked great and the serial number looked fine and everything, but this is a different serial number than the photos of the one that he sold me in the listing. So that was another big red flag. So let's go ahead and open it and take a look. Open them up, you're excited, you're like, oh my goodness, blah, blah, blah. All right, they are heavy, they feel good, they feel real and authentic. But let me tell you, uh, first off, I believe there's supposed to be like some paper or some thin paper lining on these, and there is not. The only kind of cover or lining is this plastic. And I'll tell you right now, real ones do not come with plastic here like this. That is not how real AirPod Maxes will come. Also, another thing that I felt right away is this is supposed to be a suede or like an Alcantara in here and that's not suede, okay? I have a suede headliner on my car and I will tell you right now, this is not suede. I've seen videos of the real, real AirPod Maxes and that's just not, this is not how suede uh, is. So the case is a big red flag. That's a big red flag right there. Now another thing is these are supposed to be aluminum and they're they supposed to be cold to the touch, but that's not, this is, this is plastic guys. That's plastic, that is not aluminum at all. And then another thing is when I try to extend it here, it feels kind of, I would say, just not solid. It almost feels like there's sand in here. It just does not feel, feel right. Other than that, I think the mesh looks okay. 
I think the ear cups look all right. Um, I would have to have like a real pair to really compare. And when I take the ear cups off, uh, they're supposed to be like a little hole or divot at the top here, but these do not have it. So that is another thing that I noticed that these do not have, another thing that gives them away. Now, as we continue in the box, another thing is this is not supposed to come out, but it comes out. It was glued in, it looks like, but very poorly. So that is another giveaway. That's not supposed to move or come out, but it clearly does. Another huge giveaway is look at this. Look at this lightning cable here. If you take a look at this lightning cable that it came with, you have all the metal connections up here and they're all there on that side. But if you look at this side, it's literally missing one. So that is uh, another red flag because there's definitely wherever these are being made, there's quality control issues. Now there's probably much more that I could point out, but I think I would actually need a real pair in hand to really show even more stuff. But I just wanted to go over a few things like, if you guys check on those things that I just showed you, if you're looking to pick up a pair, um, just check on those things and I think you'll be able to tell if they're real or fake. I think these are a pretty good pair of fakes, but not good enough. There's so many on eBay that I thought were good. There were like three, 350, buy it now, but a lot of those are fake, guys, especially take a look at the description. If the descriptions look copy and pasted, like there's no, like you wanna look for a description that looks like a real person wrote it, like selling my AirPod Maxes, didn't really like them or something like that, blah, blah, blah. But a lot of them are just copy and paste and they have no feedback. So definitely check up on that for sure. I definitely think you can get a pair of used ones that are actually real on eBay, but picking up a pair that is genuine, that is new on eBay seems to be very difficult. Another thing is I would totally test these before I send them back, but literally I've tried to turn them on, they don't turn on. So I don't know if the battery is completely dead, but that definitely doesn't happen with a real Apple product. They are not gonna come completely dead. So anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video. Just wanted to make a quick video going over this to help anyone out that's looking to get some of these because there are definitely a lot of fakes. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for being here and peace out.